Alrighty then, good afternoon everyone, Silver Dragon here, coming at you with some more Stardew Valley, gonna be continuing where we last left off. Pardon me. Let's go ahead and load on in here. Now it is the 16th day of summer. Lovely. Ah, oh, it's my giant uh, bear. So, we're gonna do a bit of a change of pace once again today. First things first though, let's see, looks like we have a thunderstorm showing up once again tomorrow. Spirit's in good humor today, I think you'll have a little extra luck. Huzzah for extra luck. So, one of the things I have to do is I need to start uh, sorting and getting rid of a lot of stuff because I just have too much crap. <laughs> I have way too much crap and it's just clogging up my inventory and my uh, all of my bins here, so I'm gonna have to do something about that. Put all this kind of stuff away where it belongs, you have no room in here for solar essences or that. It's nice to have three of those, I can get rid of a bunch of them. So, let's take that out of here. I'm gonna take all of these weapons. I don't really even need the slingshot. Uh, take the rubber boots. I'm gonna see if I can sell these to the Adventurer's Guild. That's a piece of junk. I'm gonna chuck that now at this point. I could build a machine to transfer this into something good, but I'm just gonna say to hell with it. Put that away. So we're kinda switching things a bit around here. Clay doesn't belong in here. I'll take out all the acorns and stuff, put all the foraging stuff one to the left. So I want, uh, I don't want to take all the, you know what, let me keep the foraging stuff in here. And I'll take all of the, uh, seeds and stuff out of here and put it in the other bin. So all the seeds are getting transferred into here. Although this is going to be a bit of a mess, to say the least, to get all this transferred over. Did I not have any acorns and stuff in here? Put that away. I thought I did. I also do need one of these later on for the uh, community center, but I'm not going to bother with the community center quite, uh, quite yet today, at least. Let's go ahead and put this monster essence away. Someone had asked me if the glow ring will actually uh, stack with the other glow ring. I'm not sure, but I definitely want to try that out. Definitely got way too much crap. Alright. Radishes. Wheat. Pine cone, which I can't take with me right now. Guess I'll put that in here with the rest of it then. I should almost plant that just so I can make more... Ooh, let's put this picture up. Also, to, I'm not sure if, uh, let's see here. Oh god, I'm trying to sort through this. I'm like, there's almost more foraging stuff in here than there is anything else. We'll sell the snails. Unfortunately, I can't sell this here. Get rid of the ghost fish, keep that. Mixed seeds I'm keeping, this I'm chucking. Sap I'm definitely keeping, I definitely, I most definitely need sap. Not to mention we have a lot of stuff here to harvest today. Put the sap with the rest of it, I guess there's none left in here. Which is fine. Bamboo pole as well, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna outright get rid of the bamboo pole because to hell with it. It's not even worth trying to find someone who actually buy the damn thing. this on my... I don't have any space for it at all. Never mind then. I'll have to get a bigger house. It's just not enough room in there for that. This lovely giant star fruit. Alright, grab the seaweed. Ah, uh, the melon, the grape. Go ahead and swap that out. So, yeah, it's definitely a huge bloody mess here, to say the least. At least we're semi-sorting it now to get rid of some of the stuff. I'm going to sell all that crayfish. I'll actually get rid of this too as well. Chuck this in here. Grab those. Keep the hops. Sea urchin comes with me. Actually, I'll even sell that outright. Gold ore goes in... All this ore goes in a different chest completely. 
Singing stone. I'm actually going to place that somewhere. Let's put that right here, actually. If it'll let me. No? Alright, let's go inside. There we go. Perfect. Alright. So, I could probably have done some of this just by myself, but I figured, you know, let's just get this over with quickly and move on. Although this is still taking me a while to actually do, even though I say quickly. <laughs> Pine tower, grab all these. As those should be condensed into the correct area. Put the seeds away. Uh, that can go in here, if we have the room for any of it. Pine tar. That's about all we had the room for. Figured we wouldn't have much. Put away you guys. We actually have 36 coal now, which is actually really damn nice. Because coal is like the one bloody thing I needed a lot of. Alright, let's go sell what we can, and then we're going to start getting uh, to work on this stuff here. Now, somebody had mentioned, of course, a different discovery when it comes to the beehives. Uh, beehives like to have a lot of uh, flowers next to it, which kind of makes sense, you know. It's a beehive. Obviously, they're going to want flowers around. So, in order to get the <laughs> most out of the beehive, I'm going to have to produce a bunch of flowers around them. As such, the beehive is actually going to be moved probably up to the left somewhere. So I'll once again have to alter my uh, design to incorporate that. Let's put that right here. And actually, we'll put this stuff away. Uh, yeah, I'll put the berries in here. Alright. Let's continue watering all my lovely plants. Damn it. Lovely. How's my water doing? Almost. These are growing nice. Don't think I'm going to have enough of this. Nope, barely did. Well, I'll be damned. I thought for sure I would not have had enough water for that. That was crazy. Alright. Get all these watered. You know, it's not a hell of a lot. This still has not produced any of the uh, maple syrup, whatever the hell it's going to produce. Which is a little annoying, but honestly, it'll be it'll be done when it's done. There's nothing I can do about that. Things take time. Water these. I apparently missed that crop somehow. Because why not? I'm clumsy like that, as it were. Alright. And we're done. Okay, perfect. So now all the crops are watered. It is nine. Abigail's already been given all of her gifts. I don't really see anyone else being... Uh, I don't want to give anything to anyone else at the moment here. Of course, we have these ones, but I still haven't been able to find his damn shorts. God only knows where they're at. I'm sure I could eventually find them, but right now that's not on my real list of concerns. I do want to try, I don't know about the magnet ring, I'm not sure if I want to bother with that as much, but I do want to check the glow ring and see if that will double uh, the range of my uh, light radius as it were. Uh, let me also get my scythe actually, might as well get some hay while I'm, at, while I'm doing this. And yes, I do need my copper axe. That's actually the main tool that I need right now. So. For a change of pace, again, we're going to be chopping down a lot of trees. So we're going to spend pretty much the entire day chopping down trees, gathering stone. Although stone is not the one we need the most. Right? What we need the most is, of course, the, uh, the logs is pretty much what we need. We're just kind of clearing away some of the uh, grass here. Make room for our wood cutting operation. Alright. It's also going to give us quite a bit of uh, sap to work with as well. So I'll drain pretty much my entire bar 
worth of energy. We're going to run over to the uh, hot tub area. Or a hot spring, I should say. And we're going to relax for a little bit. Then we're going to come back and we're going to keep going. And we're just going to tear this bloody place apart. Because I need a ton of wood. Essentially what I'm doing is I have a lot of fruit. I'm going to continue to have a lot of fruit and essentially going to be stockpiling it as much as I can in order to make jams. As you can see, jams are eh, fairly profitable, I should say. So we need to start mass producing them, and unfortunately I do not have the facilities to do that, so we're going to change that today. Although I honestly don't think I'll be able to get a huge, huge amount, because it takes quite a bit to uh, actually get like a crap ton of jam production, but we're going to do what we can. I'm already exhausted. We'll get this bit right here at least. Go ahead and make some more room in here. Make sure we can get through here no problem. Get that punk. Alright, the hell? Oh, there's a little tree in my way there. Alright, so all these trees are going to go down eventually. Let's head up north now. I should probably get rid of some of this stuff. We have a bunch of acorns and such we're getting from all this as well. Well, you know what? No, I'm not going to make any more room in my inventory right now, just because I can, uh... Also, let's check on this quickly. I'm going to be getting more room in a moment, because I'm going to run over to the Adventurer's Guild as well, and see about, uh... selling all of this crap that I have in my inventory, all these weapons and such that I'm not going to use. Then I have to debate between the new dagger that I picked up, the Crystal Dagger, and my uh, Neptune's Glaive. They both seem like uh, good weapons, but only one shall be the master. And the other one will be chucked to the curb. Alright, let's take a nice bath. Alright. Fantastic. So I guess uh, PC Gamer got a uh, interview with the dev for this, which was actually quite an interesting read. Even, even the parts where, of course, uh, the whole reason why he has been putting out as much patches as he has is because, of course, he feels personally, since he was the only one who did everything, pretty much, including the art, the music, everything for the game, he felt personally responsible for any of the bugs and such that were still remaining and causing people issues, so he wanted to make sure that he got rid of a lot of that kind of stuff. Uh, not to the point of even, apparently, personally going through and fixing people's corrupted save files that I guess were sent to him. So he would... It, who... What dev would ever go... Like, take your save file and... You know, try and uncorrupt it and bring it back. Like, that's ridiculous. I have almost... Yeah, I've never heard of anyone ever doing that. So that's... That alone... That al alone deserves a... A uh, huge amount of uh, loyalty, as it were. Customer loyalty. So, yeah. Goddamn. <laughs> I should say. Okay. I'm gonna chop down that tree. Oh, and then butterflies everywhere. Lovely. Alright, old man. I'm here to give you things. Also, let's check on the reward list here. I haven't been looking at it. Okay. Let's uh, start selling all this junk that I most definitely don't need. I'm going to sell the magnet ring. I don't really see a use for it. The pirate sword. Yar. Claymore. The Templar's blade. Oh, Jesus. Oh, sneakers. Oh, it's the red sneakers. Someone did lie to me. thought they were given a speed boost. They don't give you a speed boost. Boo. Boo. So, I haven't killed enough of anything yet. Guild to claim rewards. Yep, nope, I haven't killed enough of anything in the mines yet to acquire any award rewards. So let's get out of here then. Head back home. And continue the process. Although we should go down. Yeah, let's talk to let's talk to the people. Dude, don't you know me better than that by now? Come on, bro. I haven't I haven't gone over to ridicule you or kick your tent or do anything once. I mean, come on. Interesting guy, thank you. 
You were just the person I was looking for. Let's go ahead and grab all the random stuff on the way back home. Might as well, might as well. I think there was a couple of flowers over here last time I checked. Oh, what are you doing over here, good sir? Make sure water plants every day. If you're using water retaining soil, you won't need to worry about watering them as often. Speaking of which, we did acquire a new recipe for quality retaining soil, but it uses clay. Oh my god, I can't even imagine. I would not bother with that recipe. Clay, although not, not the most expensive thing, clay isn't exactly, you know, growing on trees. So, I wouldn't waste all of that on... Yeah, I'm definitely thinking... So far, the vote for whether or not to decrease the time or increase the amount of time that I have in a day has... The, the biggest amount of people at the moment are split between either a 30% uh, increase in the amount of time in the day or keep it as is. So, yeah. <laughs> But, it definitely seems like there's just not enough time. There really isn't. I'd rather not chop that up when it's still such a small tree, but it's in my way. And I especially do want to start, like, once I clear away most of these trees, I'm half tempted just to replant them. Half tempted to start in the bottom and work my way up, just so I don't have all the freaking uh, canopies in my way. Definitely going to be one hell of a day. It's too bad. I wish that had been... I wish that one perk had been a 50% increase the amount of wood you gain uh, when chopping these down. That would have been really nice, but sadly it was not. Like, why would you ever... Oh! Oh, it's done! It's done! Ooh, I can take that to the community center now and get an upgrade or another completion. I believe that was in the pantry, if I'm not mistaken. Artisan bundle, nope. Not the quality crops bundle. Definitely not the fall crops bundle. Uh, it was probably the crafts room then. Exotic foraging, yes, there it is. Maple syrup. Woohoo! Maple syrup! It's delicious. Delicious. Alright. Huh. Yeah, it probably is way too quiet. Because, uh, I mentioned before that there's a constant kind of, like, audio in the background for mosquitoes, but most of you can't hear it because I don't crank, uh, the background up that loud. There we go. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. I want to make a bunch of these tonight here before we have to pass out. And we also got to go to the community center now, so most of my energy has been used up. But still not enough, damn it. Still, this is good progress. This is good progress for the amount we need. Yeah, even though I cleared away a lot of this stuff already. There's still so much crap in my way and it's preventing me from getting at the uh, wood. Alright, that should be good. We got over 300, so let's go grab all the stone we have. Uh, craft a bunch of these guys and get them working. So I need some decent berries. So somebody had mentioned... Uh, essentially what it is, is it takes the value... If you make jam, it takes the value of the berry, doubles it and then adds 50 gold, and that's how you get your jam price. Alright. Put you away. Actually, I need a bunch of you and coal. Put away the sap, though. I'll make as many as I can. Oh, I have to make them one at a time, apparently. Cough. Well then, uh, let me see here. Got the seeds in here. Let's put those away. All right. 
So let us begin. And this is going to be completely moved. Let me actually do that right now, even. You as well. You don't belong here. I'll put you right here for now. This guy... Uh, I'll put it over here for the moment. Even though I plan on moving it off to the left. Essentially with the way I, I wish the map would pull up a farm map, but unfortunately it doesn't. What are we missing now? We're low on coal. Damn. Oh well. I, it's a damn shame, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and put the these guys in there first. Followed by those. Alright. Those should take about two days to complete. Let's go take my maple syrup away, if I can. Let me just put away these sweet peas first. So, damn, we still do need a lot of coal then. I was really hoping not to have to use this. But since I only need two more coal, we're going to make use of it. Alright, so what else did I need to accomplish today? I, of course, left my crab pots completely unattended today. I think I'll take a quick jaunt on over there after I drop off this uh, maple syrup just to collect what we can and run away. I would hate to waste the profitability of that, but we really did spend a lot of time today working on uh, getting the materials we needed for preservation jars. And even this is still not enough. I plan on filling up that entire lower right area all with preservation jars. Uh, we're also going to have kegs and other stuff, but I'm going to put those elsewhere. And I don't think I'll have... Well, I'll have a little bit of time. Exotic foraging bundle. Ding! When? I could have brought more stuff to come here with it, but you know what? Screw it. Ooh, Autumn's Bounty. Interesting. An increase in foraging capabilities. I wonder if... I wonder if that would affect what I would get from the trees, too. Hmm. Not to mention the energy increase. Again, this would be really great if I had more time in the day. <laughs> uh, one thing I'm wondering is how it's going to affect the people as well. Because they're also going to probably go places and then... Let's go ahead and rummage through the trash here. Because apparently one person I know even got a bloody gold bar. From rummaging through trash. Which is, who the hell throws away a gold bar? God damn! That's ridiculous. Right, let's be as quick as we can. Fucking junk. And look who's over by the sea. Sound of farm animals is great, isn't it? Oh, Leia. You'll be my next choice. Other than when I have to go evil and pick Haley because she's, well, Haley. Let's go ahead and destroy that. Alright, there's nothing else. Let's run home now before we run out of time. And that's another thing. Like, just getting around, I can run out of time. Like, I should be able to make it home with the amount of time I have left here. But it might not be enough. Which is kind of... Sad, in a way. Luckily, I'll just barely have enough this time. I'm feeling lazy today. That's a shame. Now, he's also mentioned, of course, before that he does want to add the co-op in for the multiplayer. He does want to, uh, apparently increase the amount of romance partners. Apparently, a lot of people have asked him to allow Shane to be romance for whatever reason that he doesn't understand. Which, yeah, I can get that. I mean, it's... Who the hell? She ain't a bit of a prick, like, all the time. I guess, you know, just because, I suppose. Hey, they're adorable. Go ahead and sleep for the night. See if we get any levels. Uh-oh, something happened. Cowpoke? I have no idea. I'm assuming it means I've gained a certain amount of, a certain level of cash. Total. And it is raining today, so we'll be spending our entirety of our t or the entirety of our time today uh, doing the same kind of thing. Of course, we will need a bunch of coal as well. It'll be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. 
There's someone annoyed today. Luck will not be on my side. Well, shit. Let's see if we got something new. Oh, no. Pancakes. Damn it. <coughs> Pardon me. We got jam. The hell am I doing? Alright. Let's put some stuff away. And I'm like, I have nothing to put away. Cough. Uh, oh god, I can't imagine what the starfruit jam would do, but I want to keep the starfruit. This stuff I'm just going to outright sell. Coal is going to be a problem. Alright. As much as I hate to keep burning this. Oh, it's actually eight coal even. God damn. That is a pain in the ass. Alright. Oh, Jesus. Let's go ahead and get chopping. I definitely need to make another trip back into the mines today as well, so I'll waste an initial bit of energy is what I will do. Chopping down the trees, so I'll drain myself completely of my energy. I will then run up to the uh, hot spring, chillax in there for a little bit. And uh, after that, I will head right down into the mines. So I'll have to make sure to remove all the stuff from my inventory before I head up to the uh, hot springs. Alright. I'll leave all these little baby trees till they grow up, and then I will again chop them all down. That way I don't have to bother planting any additional ones. That should be most excellent. I'm guessing I won't be able to chop up that big log over there until I upgrade my pick further, or my axe further, not my pick. That's a completely different tool. Similar, but different. Alright. More delicious maple seeds, some acorns. Not getting a lot of pine seeds, but then again, these aren't pine trees. Should get a lot of wood here. Ah, I'm removing all the butterflies from their nest here. What a cruel, sadistic uh, farmer I be. Cough. Anywho, that should be good. That's quite a bit of wood we gathered too. All right, let's continue on. Also, I gotta go gather up all these hops. Definitely gonna have a lot of hops for a spare when I'm uh, doing beer production. But it's gonna be, still be a while before I can produce that. This would be the... Oh no, the corn has been produced. Sweet. At least some of it has, because the rest of it was not in a... Uh, on fertilizer. Okay, let's deposit this stuff. Actually, the seeds go elsewhere. Put away the hops. Same thing for the pine. Cone, you guys go in here. Uh, sap goes elsewhere as well. Put this away in here. Beautiful. Uh, how much copper do I have? I only have enough to make one more bomb if I really wanted to. And I don't want to waste the stone on trying to make... Uh... There we go. I uh, don't want to waste the stone on trying to make other... What the hell is it called? Staircases. Uh, also, I still have this art isn't good in my inventory. I meant to go in here and check on this, which we do have some stuff in here. Let's see here. So, a couple of these can be used for energy. Ah, to hell with it. Let's move on. Grab the one cherry bomb. It's like, go, 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 go. And apparently there's still some secrets in this that people haven't discovered yet, since uh, what you have to do to acquire it, as it were, is apparently pretty obscure. Which makes me kind of want to go back and look at the various uh, Harvest Moon and Rune Factory games and look for ex uh, obscure kind of uh, hidden secrets or something. 
just to see. Kind of like how with uh, building a 3x3 plot, you can get a giant version of whatever it is you were planting. That would be, of course, a nod towards uh, Harvest Moon for that. Even though you can plant your crops with whatever kind of variation you wish. Alright, so we're going to spend the rest of our day mining. Hopefully we'll get some more coal. That's pretty much the whole reason we're going down, is to find more coal. So we'll definitely be focusing on killing those little black sprites. As well as, as always, just getting as deep in the mines as we can. Now I do have a small fortune on me this time, so I can't allow myself just to pass out. Like I did last time. Okay, let's go. Brodiel. The time it takes to actually fill up your energy bar in here doesn't actually just take place the moment you're in the spring and relaxing. I would even say it takes place the moment you enter the zone here, because at that point, everything you're doing is... Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. It's fantastic. Woo! Why are you here in the rain? Enjoying the weather. Guess you'd be one to appreciate the this somber ambience. <laughs> Why thank you. I came here to spend some time alone. Can't I join you? You know what? At this point, I most definitely do not regret picking her. That was fantastic. I don't mind your company. Oh, well then. You're getting soaked. Come stand out of the tree. <laughs> well then. It's possible to describe this feeling watching the curtains of rain whisper above a silent lake. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, hello. I have an instrument as well. I gotta turn this up then. A mini harp. Okay, give me a second here. I gotta crank this baby up. I probably should have cranked up the audio quite a bit a while ago, actually. I'm impressed. Let's do this shit. Duet. Here we go. And to think, the dev did this all by himself. fantastic <laughs> that was really fantastic I can't even imagine god damn that guy it took him four years and he experimented quite a bit but I have to say that was that was effing fantastic <laughs> all right let's head on down to the mines I love this game I really do I can totally see myself Spending a ridiculous amount of time in this. Of course, the next time I restart, I'm going to end up, uh... Actually, I'm probably going to... This is the kind of game where I'm probably going to honestly end up restarting it multiple times. Or at least starting fresh multiple times. Just so I can go with slightly different, uh... Let's go ahead and get this bit right here. Also, yeah, let's try out the dagger. Oh, the range is definitely not as great. Yeah, I don't know how I like the dagger. It's true that if it crits, it would probably do a ridiculous amount of damage. But all in all, the dagger just... I don't know, I don't like it nearly... It doesn't have the range of the sword. I can't take on nearly as many enemies as I could by using it. Punk! Alright, let's keep going down. Now, my main focus is going to be on just acquiring some coal, so... 
there they are. Exactly the little critters I was looking for. Come here, little guys. I'll make it quick and painless. Got him. There's already the next way down, too. Can I grab this, please? No? We don't have enough room in our inventory. In that case... Let's eat this already, even though I was going to wait a bit longer. I guess I should have made more room after all. I knew that was going to be a problem when on my way here. Worst comes to worst, I'll check a few things out. We're already on the 67th floor, well I'll be damned. That was fast. So I'm going to want to explore a little bit here. For the hope of finding those, uh... Satchels, essentially. Here comes Ghosty! Anytime, guys, anytime. Come on at me. Damn, yeah, this sword does a lot more damage than the other one does. Alright. I definitely don't need the bat wings. I have enough of those to drown myself in. Alright. Take down that big boulder one way or the other. Even if I do find the way down. Which I didn't, so I guess that kind of balances itself out now, doesn't it? Alright. Oh, this is going to be another one of those stubborn zones that doesn't show me a ladder for a bloody age. But then again, the last two zones pretty much had the ladder exposed immediately, so I guess that's payback. Can't always get that lucky. What the hell was that? The fuck? Uh, okay, I'm assuming that came from outside. How I can hear that from the 67th floor of the mine, I don't know. That's definitely the sound of a tree falling because of the storm. And here we go. It's supposed to be destroyed, damn it. Alright. And now we continue on into the depths of hell. Oh, hello. I'm going to get all of you. Excellent. Excellent. Perfect. That gives me at least a little bit of coal. What are we up to now? Seven? Uh, it's funny, even with all the little critters I have killed so far, that's barely enough to get, uh, well, still not even enough to get a single one of the, uh, preservation jars. Who would, who would think I'd be so freaking uh, hampered by my lack of coal? It's kind of funny, actually. I should follow these paths, actually, as well. That'll lead me to something, I'm sure. Let's try the southern path here first. Usually there's a satchel at the end of one of these guys. Apparently at one point he had tried to make this mine uh, procedurally generated, but it didn't quite work out. Which is still interesting, nonetheless. of boots are those? Combat boots. Plus three defense. Eh. I suppose I could always eat this grape. Get some energy back. Swipe that ghost. Oh, 
we actually got two solar essences from that one. Alright, let's place it down here. Oh, fuck. Oh, jeez. I can't escape. Ouch. That hurt a little bit. Let's see what we got in here. Some kind of a club. Got some cave carrots. I can use that to make another cherry bomb. Definitely take those. They're quite useful to me. Get rid of the slime. Actually, shoot, I shouldn't have done that because I need the slime later on for, uh... God, what the hell is it called? A lead rod. 18 to 27 damage. No. That's not nearly as good. No, these are just plain... Yeah, they're just plain wood. Okay, moving on. Got him. None of you will escape alive. Here's our way down. Which I will take as soon as I murder this bat and get this rock. And probably some of the iron as well, because it's right here. There's no reason not to. And my energy is quite uh, excellent at the moment. And there's these guys! Yay! There's more of you! Welcome to the grinder that is my sword. Oh, eh, let's go down then. Woo, the 70th floor! A master slingshot. Oh, speaking of which, um, let's replace this. Someone, I uh, remember they had asked before. Oh. This is interesting. Now we're fighting Skelly Bros. That is most definitely a priority to have as well. Um, let's see here. What can I chuck? Yeah, good enough. Would have had more room if I'd uh, planned accordingly, but you know me, planning. It's just in my forte. <laughs> Thinking ahead? What kind of madman do you think I am? Ooh, excellent. So it looks like we're in some kind of uh, frozen castle wonderland now. Holy shit, I might actually get down to the next floor. Take him down. Alright, I need to eat something. That's why I have you guys. Eat the mushrooms. Wish I had the explosive. I could have made one from the copper, but... Might not have been enough. Ooh, I think that's... Oh, it's the Dwarf Scroll! Wait, Dwarf Scroll 3. Don't I have that Dwarf Scroll? Uh... Alright, let's get out of here. Because otherwise I'm not going to make it home in time. Unless one of these rocks here before the entrance happens to have the stairway. Also, there's some kind of club there, but whatever. How much stone do I have? You know what? Because we're almost there, I'm gonna make that sacrifice. Sorry, stone. I'll get you another time. You're not exactly the rarest resource in the world, so it's not like I can't chuck you. Alright. I don't know if I'm gonna make it home in time. I honestly don't know. How much coal do we manage to get? 21. So that's enough to get at least a couple more of the, uh... Preservation jars. Uh oh. <coughs> Pardon me. Sorry. So we're on the clock now. We're definitely on the clock now. But luckily, I'm already really damn close to the farm. So, one way or the other, we should make it. 
But once again tomorrow, I'm going to have to completely empty out my inventory. It's going to be a... Uh, the hell? Uh, some, oh, we did lose some crops. So some of the trees were falling down there. Go ahead and pass out for the night. Got to get a mining skill for that. No? Oh, damn. Well, I guess not. No mining skill for me. Bollocks. Oh, chicken. Alright, so, let's see here. Also, this might be too loud now. Definitely to see about adjusting the uh, music and background volume somewhat. Anyway, we did pretty well. We got quite a bit of good stuff. We got a uh, good distance down. And yeah, this is the achievement I got was for breaching the 50,000 total earnings mark. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. So, next time around, we gotta go to the blacksmith at some point and crack open these frozen geodes, see what we got. I now do have four grand and probably enough for a chicken coop, so I think I'm also going to go get one of those too. So we're going to uh, get the chicken coop built. It's going to take two days anyway, so it'll take the entirety of the next episode for that to be built. So we'll have to make sure to bring enough uh, stones and wood along for that. I think it was 300 wood and uh, 200 stone or something like that. Hopefully we have enough. And of course focus on some of the preservation jars after that as we do have the coal for it now. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching everyone. Hope you all enjoyed. Definitely have yourselves a fantastic day and I will see you all next time with some more Stardew Valley. Have a great one everybody.